We're in Algebra 2 now at 9.6c, and we're going to talk about the maximum or minimum product of two numbers, their sum or difference, for quadratic functions. If you haven't seen the last few videos, we've made 13 so far for Chapter 9, and the last few were very important. If you become lost or confused, you can click on this description and watch them real quick to catch up. Maximum value or minimum value word problems are concerned with finding the largest or smallest value. Some of these problems involve quadratic functions. To solve them, we translate by finding the appropriate function, then find the maximum or minimum value of that function. We assign our variables, we write our equation or our function, we solve for one variable and substitute that expression, we complete the square, and find our minimum or maximum value for that function. Now, 9.5a, we talked about how x equals h, that's our line of symmetry, and the point hk is our vertex. And our vertex, that point hk, is going to be our maximum or minimum value, depending on if the parabola opens up or down, right? That's our vertex. So what's the maximum product of two numbers whose sum is 22? What numbers yield this product? So we need two numbers. When added together, they're 22. When multiplied together, they make a maximum, maximum product. So we're going to let x equal the first, no, first number and y equal the second number. So we've got x plus y equals 22. We can add a negative x to each side of the equation to isolate for y. And we get y equals 22 minus x. Now we can use that instead of y. We can use 22 minus x. So for that maximum product, we need to do x times y. We'll do x times 22 minus x. That's going to represent our y. We can distribute the x, and we can get 22x minus x squared. We can rearrange this order as x squared plus 22x. We can complete the square. We divide this 22 coefficient in half as a, by 2. See, 22 divided by 2, that's going to give us an 11. Then we square it. 11 squared is 121. Now, because this is a plus sign, and we want to write it in this form where we've got a times the square of x minus h plus k is going to be our function. We need a minus sign in here, so because that's a plus sign, we're going to multiply it by a negative 1 out here. We don't have to write that 1, do we? We can just put the negative sign, all right? But because that's a negative 1, that means that this a, that negative 1, is less than 0, so our parabola, our graph, is going to open downward, and that means because it's opening downward and our vertex is going to be right up here, it's going to be a maximum value. Our k value right here, this 121, is going to be our maximum value. a is less than 0. See? Our vertex is 11 and 121. That's our h and our k. Our h and our k. See? The maximum product is 121. And the two numbers are 11 and 11. 11 times 11 is 121. 11 plus 11 is 22. See? It works out perfectly. Okay? Now here's the one that's a little bit tougher. i got a couple of different ways to solve this. So whichever way you feel is easier or whichever way your teacher wants. Okay? So what's the minimum product of two numbers whose difference is 4? What are the numbers? So we're going to let x equal the larger number. Because if we're doing a difference, we're doing subtraction, right? And there's, in subtraction, there's a larger number that you're taking away another number from, a smaller number. That's going to be y. And that's going to equal our difference. And when we multiply the x and y together, that's going to be our minimum product. So we're going to let p be the product. So we've got x minus y equals 4. Well, we know that we can switch this around, can't we? We can use our property of addition to say x minus 4 equals y. It's the same thing. It's like if we had 5 minus 3 equals 2 or 5 minus 2 equals 3. It's the same thing. We can switch these two around, can't we? So now we can say y is x minus 4. So our product is going to be x times x minus 4. That's our xy to get our minimum product. We need to multiply these two together. We can distribute this x as an x squared minus 4x. There's an invisible 1 in front of that x squared, isn't there? Now this parabola opens upward because of that 1 there. Our value for a right here is larger than 0. So we know that our parabola is opening upward. 
like that. And there's going to be a minimum value down here, okay? So that's going to be our minimum product where that vertex is. So there's a couple of different ways to do this. I'm going to show you the way we did in video 9.6a. So we've got this 1x squared minus 4x, all right? And we don't have a k value, do we? So I just put a 0 there as a placeholder. So what we do is we need to complete the square. So we've got a negative 4 that we're going to divide in half, and we're going to get a negative 2. We need to square that negative 2 so we get a 4, a positive 4. We write this into parentheses like this, and we do the plus 4 minus 4, okay? And if you're confused, this is what we did in video 9.6a, and I'm going to show you a different way using this in a second, okay? I'm just trying to show you how we did it before. So we did plus 4 minus 4, and then we closed our parentheses after this plus 4, and we added this negative 4 plus 0. See that 0? When we factor this, we get 1 times the square of x minus 2 minus 4. 4, take a, four plus, negative 4 plus 0 is a negative 4. See? So our vertex is this 2 and that negative 4. And that's how we did it in video 9.6a. I'm going to show you a different way, okay? So we know the standard form of a quadratic function could be written as y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, right? So if we've got 1x squared minus 4x, the parabola of this function has its vertex where x equals the quotient of negative b and 2a. We can substitute the a and b values from our equation and come up with x. And then we find the y-coordinate of the vertex by plugging this x value into the equation and solving for y. So this equation is the same thing as this, all right? Here's our values, and I put a plus 0 at the end for the c, just so that it was complete, okay? And here's our b value, that's a negative 4. Our a value is a 1. We're going to do a negative b. Well, we already have a negative 4, so a negative of a negative 4 is what we have up here, okay? So don't make the mistake of forgetting that that's a negative number. Okay, if you see a negative number for this middle term, you want this to be a negative of a negative, see, for the b va negative b value. We're going to do 2 times 1, that's a 2, so negative times negative 4 is a positive 4, isn't it? Because there's like an invisible 1 here, negative 1 times negative 4 makes a positive 4, over 2. So we know x is equal to 2. Well, look, that's what we got over here too, didn't it? didn't we, see? So if x is equal to 2, and we know that 2 minus y, because it was x minus y equals 4 for our difference, then that means 2 minus y equals 4. But it also means that 2 minus 4 equals y, and 2 minus 4 is a negative 2, so that means y is a negative 2. x is 2, y is negative 2, that's our two numbers. And x times y is a negative 4. That's our minimum product. So you can do it one of two ways. You could do it this way, which is very popular, or you could do it the way I showed you in the previous video, 9.6a, where we complete the square and go that route, okay, and find the vertex. Either way, you're going to get the right answer, all right? Okay, our next video is 9.7, and we're going to talk about how to find x-intercepts of graphs of quadratic functions. I'm going to add this video to the Algebra 2 playlist, and there's 13 videos now for this chapter, for Algebra 2 that we're in right now for Chapter 9. And these three videos, 9.5a, b, and 9.6a, are really important to understanding this maximum and minimum value thing that we've been talking about, okay? So I hope this made sense to you. I know the minimum products of uh, two numbers that have a difference can be very confusing. So whichever way you feel comfortable in solving it is fine, okay? Depending on what your teacher wants, all right? I'll see you next video. Keep trying. I believe in you. Bye.